What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Short edition, five minutes or less. Stick around to the end. <laughs> Today's episode, we're going to be talking about why you should not hold on to a toxic relationship that's destroying you. How, how having hope that that person will change will, will lead to you wasting a lot of time. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. So this person is saying they see the good in their possibly narcissistic partner and believe that someday that they, they will change and realize what they're doing. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist, I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. So a lot of people see my platform, right? And they just automatically think, hey, my narcissistic partner can change as well because, you know, Lee, he's a diagnosed narcissist and he's married and he has kids and things like that. But it doesn't work that way, y'all, because li literally I've been in psychotherapy for over five years now and I'll be in therapy for the rest of my life. If they are not willing to work on themselves, what hope do you have of that person changing or altering their behavior in any way? If you can't get them to commit to one therapy appointment, how are you going to get them to commit to going for the rest of their life? Because if I stop going to therapy, I revert back to my old toxic behaviors because I had 32 years of previous bad behavior, previous toxic behaviors to, to fall back on. It's a lot easier for me to fall back into what I know than to what I'm learning because it's easier because I've learned it over 32 years. So don't take hope for me that your person can change your Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So if you can read the text on the screen, it says, I don't want to give up. I see the good and believe they will someday realize and come through. Y'all, y'all, don't look at my profile. Don't look at my platform, Ben Taylor's platform, Cluster B Milkshake, Nameless Narcissist, you know, don't look at none of those platforms and just be like, you know what? No, I'm waiting. I'm holding on to this toxic relationship. You are going to waste a lot of time, effort, energy in life, life force overall waiting on giving somebody repeated chances to change waiting and giving somebody repeated chances to destroy you forgiving somebody reconciling with somebody consistently you can't keep doing that with yourself well you can you have free will but you can't like literally you're going to lose yourself don't look at my platform i've been working yeah i've been working on myself for 17 years it's been almost two decades of personal development five years of therapy you see what i'm saying this is a continuous process that i'll be doing for the rest of my life the strongest trait of manipulation is giving hope. That person probably giving you some type of hope that you're going to change, that they're going to change. Look, just give me another chance. Just give me time. Give me some time to grow up. Give me some, I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to make errors, but they shouldn't be the end of our relationship. Yes, yes, yes the, absolutely the hell it should be the end of your relationship. Stop letting people, stop giving people the opportunity to ruin your life because they're going to continuously take it and they're going to ruin your life. And then they're going to blame you for sticking with them. They're going to blame you for being a ride or die. They're going to blame you for being a down ass dude. They're going to blame you. I'm just telling you, they're going to blame you. Yeah, nobody held you hostage here. You could have left whenever you wanted to leave. Don't get mad at me because I found somebody else. They're going to find somebody else and leave you high and dry and leave you broken. And you're going to be crying and you're going to be upset. And you're going to be mad as hell. Just, Why do I keep forgiving that person? Why do I keep getting another chance? The strongest trait of manipulation is giving hope. Shout out to uh, Yellow Pain for that line. It was fire. Um, but stop giving people multiple opportunities to, to destroy you. Don't like I, like I said, if you can't get them to go to one therapy session, imagine commit getting getting them to, to, to narcissistic robot resetting. Power back up. Imagine them. If you can't get them to go to one session, imagine trying to get them to go to multiple sessions for the rest of their life. Like me, I've had over 60 therapy appointments in my life. Y'all, it seems like a lot. Hey, five years, five years of therapy. Goodness gracious. But that's how it goes, though, y'all. Stop giving people the chances to destroy you. They have to want to see it themselves. They have to want to make those behavioral alterations themselves. They have to want to sit in the shame and be vulnerable and be accountability themselves. Be accountable themselves. You can't do that, y'all. You cannot outlove the trauma that made somebody a narcissist or a toxic person. You can't do that. I know you love them. I know you care about them. I know you... Uh, uh, attached to them and all the other good stuff, but sometimes it's best to let go. And to, it's, sometimes it's best to let go so you can self let yourself grow. Let go to let grow. But anyways, y'all, I told y'all keep this below five minutes. If y'all stay to the end, I'm super thankful for every single one of y'all. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.